Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Brygger and if you're new here, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. Today we moved out to my workshop and it's where I keep my 3D printers. The FEB film on the tank needs a change. So um, I will show you how to do that, but first I will need to empty the tank, so we better get started. After my latest print, the printer gave an alarm that I have exceeded the release film usage count. It is set to 60,000 and as you can see here, 64,551. So we definitely need to change it. I always leave resin in my tank. I rarely empty it unless it's totally necessary. But if you're going to work with resin, always wear gloves. This is an empty resin bottle and then I have a funnel. And then I just pour it up. There's a tiny filter in the bottom of the funnel, so I don't want to get foreign objects into it. It is still a bit messy and to get the rest of the resin out of the tank I will use the tank clean function in the printer. I have ready a spatula and then I will start the 15 second clean program. It will actually just make exposure for 15 seconds to the bottom plate and then I can just peel off the rest of the resin. And I made a spill. That's why you have to use the drip tray that actually comes with this printer. I'm just stupid and keep forgetting using it when it's actually necessary. I am getting better when I'm emptying my printer for prints because they can also drip, so then I am using it. And then I'm just dumping the tank into my clean tank. It is filled with isopropyl alcohol and then I can just clean it here. And as you can see, I have two tanks. I have what I call the dirty tank and then I have the clean tank. It is both filled with isopropyl alcohol. The one is just more dirty than the other. And to get the last resin out of the tank, I'll use a soft brush. With a paper towel, I will clean the rest of the resin and isopropyl alcohol off the tank because I want this to be as clean as possible before I will change the PFA film. I've moved into my office because it's a lot cleaner and warmer in here. It is almost zero degrees Celsius in the workshop and I'll put it in Fahrenheit here. We need to remove a lot of screws and lucky enough I have my iFixit toolkit and I have an electric screwdriver. I also got this PFA film on Elegoo's website and it says it's for the Saturn 2 II and 3, but I think it will work with the 4. It was, I think it says 4 on their website. I know this will work. But first we will need to remove a lot of screws. The electric screwdriver is not strong enough to loosen these screws, so I will start manually using my iFixit screwdriver. I will just loosen all the screws and move the bit to the electric screwdriver to take them out. And now we can pop out the frame and on the back side of the frame there is a new set of screws that we need to remove. This screwdriver came with the first mask I got almost three years ago, four years ago and uh, it works on these at least to loosen them up. and get them out with the electric screwdriver. The frame splits in two parts and here you can see the old PFA film. It is very cloudy and worn out. It even has some dents to it, so it was about time to change it. To make sure there's no more residue of the resin in the frame, I will use some isopropyl alcohol and a cloth to clean it up before we are mounting a new film. And now we can mount the PFA release film. This is a box of five sheets and they are nicely packed into this blue protection film. I will remove the protection film and put it between the two parts of the frame. Then it is just putting in back all the screws. It is very easy to press down the screw and poke a hole through the film. 
and use my electric screwdriver to screw it in. I'll also tighten them up with the ordinary screwdriver. And then we can mount the frame onto the tank. And here it is very important to put in the screws in the opposite diagonally position every single time. And make a tight adjustment diagonally every single time. This is because we want the tension to the film to be equal all over the frame. And now it's tightened evenly and it sounds like a drum skin. We have something flapping up here and I think I will just trim it with a sharp knife. I don't think this is actually necessary, but I just like that it looks nice. Enough playing around, it's time to go back to the workshop and start a print. My workshop is almost the freezing point, so I will have to start my heater. You can print at fairly low temperatures, but I've experienced that 18 degrees Celsius is the best as a minimum. I will clean the screen with some isopropyl alcohol and a fiber cloth. And then I can mount the tank and tighten the screws. Put on some gloves. Just one more thing, we need to reset the release film counter. Done. Pour up some resin. The temperature is 13 degrees Celsius, but it is climbing pretty fast, so I will start the print right now, and I think the printer will be at temperature when the build plate is at the bottom. And the print is done. I just need to clean up all these miniatures and then we are done for today. It looks like the PFA film worked as intended. There is no leaks and I hope you learned something in this very short video. This is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and remember to like and subscribe uh, something down here and I'll see you around.